Well, you know, it's sunny right now, but that could change in a heartbeat. If I can show you ways to save on your utility bill, would you be interested? Of course you will. Let's go in the shop. You know what? I'm all for reducing your energy cost any way you can. If that means you have to walk around your house and changing out your light bulbs to CFLs, compact fluorescent tube bulbs, that's fine. But you know what? There are better ways to save big money in your house. And the way to do that is to really consider the insulation of your house and how you can reduce your energy costs that way. Well, for example, you have a house like this. This is a regular house. This is your exterior wall. It's made up of studs. We have them all through our house. We all know the pink stuff. That's a perfect insulation. The stuff works great. You want to make sure you have this for your house. But consider this, these wooden studs, woods conduct heat, they conduct energy. So you've spent a lot of money bringing up 70 degrees into your house. You've built this big old hot warm room in here, but what's happening, because it's cold outside, all this warm air in, inside your house wants to escape to the outside and it's gonna come through these stud. What that is called is called thermal bridging. You have created a bridge from the inside of your house to the outside because these studs are non-insulated. Think of it this way. If I would take all these studs in my house and I'd slam them all together, it's almost as if you have one complete wall in your house that's non-insulated. So what's happening is you're paying for all this energy, all this heat, but you're losing most of it. Now, if I can save you 20% of your energy cost, you'd be really interested in that. The way to do that is to make sure that your house is properly insulated. And one of the ways to do that is with insulated vinyl siding. Now this foam backing is placed on the back of a vinyl siding. And what this does, it creates a complete blanket around the house. So these studs are now insulated. So you're not gonna lose all that heat from the inside going to the outside of the cooler air. It's just a perfect way to blanket the house. When you're out purchasing insulated products, you wanna look for a high R value. And what that means is resistant to heat loss. So the higher the R value, the better insulation for your wall. So you wanna make sure you look for that.